I was a newly minted researcher, and one of my early tasks was working on a project evaluating genetic factors around abnormal blood conditions in children. This project required a literature review, which is basically gathering information on the topic based on previous research work. My first week in the role, I was noticing I spent more time than I expected trying to conduct what I had anticipated would be a fairly straightforward review. I was going through all the basic things that brand new scientists go through trying to put together the literature review. Eventually, I had to own up to the fact that I'm stuck and I'm not making the progress I was expecting. So I go to my research mentor and I follow my sword. I tell him it's my first week and at this rate, it doesn't look like I'm going to get a second week. I'm stuck and I need your help. So we sit down together and he asks me to walk him through what steps I've taken to source content and information. I start with point A, point B, he's in agreement. Then I go to point C, which was a little too far off, but I rolled out anyway and told him this is where I am. He suggested a couple other resources that I had already checked, but found nothing. After a few moments, he looks at me and says, okay, I see what the problem is, Andre. You wanna know what it is? And I'm in my head thinking like, whoa, that took you like three seconds. Yikes, maybe I'm not cut out for this at all. I take a deep breath and tell him, I, I got nothing. He leans in and tells me, it's not in the literature because you haven't written it yet. That was a sobering experience because it spoke to the heart and soul of research, that you have to have an unwavering capacity to look into the abyss of nothingness and pull something from that nothing, relying on your wits, the best tools you have available, which may not be perfect, and working with the people around you to produce solutions. Since that early experience, I've learned the value of teamwork. Collaborations and partnerships are key in driving change and producing the high quality research achieved in the Center for Individualized Medicine. Having partners to bounce ideas off of and being receptive to their questions, critiques, and concerns is an important step to gaining a greater understanding than you would have working alone or independently. Those collaborations translate into work that has the potential to directly impact our patients in an incredible way. As an operations manager and researcher, I get to support many fascinating activities and research at Mayo Clinic revolving around this ever-growing field of genomics. In my role, I'm responsible for managing the way in which research aligns with practice to be able to better inform the level of care available to patients based on their genetic information. I'm more productive because of what others have poured into me, and I'm mindful of paying that forward with the work that we do every day. It is a very rewarding area of medicine to work in, and I appreciate the opportunities to partner with colleagues from all walks of life in creating the future of medicine.